Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Today, at Learning in Limestone, we're at the Regional Science Fair, and we're looking for Limestone's youngest scientists to show us their new experiments and give us new ideas on how to make life better. We're gonna see batteries made from potatoes and even the old classic volcano. So let's go get the baking soda and vinegar and get started. So my hypothesis was that I'll be able to use a Raspberry Pi based computer chip, which is attached underneath the table, to program and create my own old style arcade system. I made this hypothesis because I had just I was always interested in both video games and programming. So I just had a natural appeal to do a project like this. The science fair projects help find solutions to everyday problems, and we found a great solution that every Canadian can use. Brendan, would you be able to explain to us what your project is? Uh, sure. So the purpose of our science fair project is to find a cost-efficient and environmentally friendly way to prevent heat loss through windows. So the average heating bill for the household is about $1,800, and 30% of heat loss is through windows. So the EcoShade is going to help this problem. A window with EcoShade is much warmer than a window without. And to test this, we measured the window in nine different sections. To find these temperatures, we used an infrared camera, and we have two pictures here a window of a window with EcoShade and a window without, red being very warm and blue being very cold. And as you can see, the, one, the window with EcoShade is much warmer than the window without. So the heat from the inside of the house, it will bounce off and reflect off this, and uh, it will just keep the heat inside the house. For some of the future considerations, we were thinking that you could integrate it to a blind and put temperature gauges and thermometers on it, and you could set a certain temperature so when it reaches that temperature, it can either it can go up, and when it reaches the other temperature that you would want it to set go down to, it would go down when it reaches that temperature. Today at the science fair, I learned that I have the power. Yeah, that's right. It's because of the sweat on your hands, and it's making an electrical chemical reaction. And I'm not the only one with the power. The foods we eat every day, and even the sodas we drink, have the power. And you guys are using it to bring your learning alive. 